and you said six horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you think some little Briggs and Stratton, <laughs> but I don't know, you know, it's kind of different, the horsepower, yeah, you know. Yeah, because like when we got this on a sawmill, you know. It'll, yeah, it'll yeah, and the Briggs would never be able to run it. No, a six horsepower. No. no. But see, this thing is portable, but it's meant to be towed. You know, it's just a, a portable power thing. But made for like feed grinder, sawmill, that buzz sort of buzz. thing. What? Cutting firewood, excellent buzz saw. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, with that big flywheel, particularly. And this power. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, I don't understand. When you crank it open, how do you get smoke? That's exhaust steam. Okay. Oh, okay. It's good. It comes out of the piston, through the three meter, up the stack. And when that's going up the stack, it actually gives you more draft. Oh, okay. Go, you because know, I was watching some uh, on the channel. They were doing some steamers and and plowing with them and smoking like hell. You know, I couldn't quite. Exhaust steam. Yeah. They're using some, you know, they're smoking some, but it's mostly exhaust steam. What year is this thing? 1891. Okay. <laughs> I got that Argentine Mazda the same year. Huh? <laughs> well, that Argentine Mazda of mine was in the same year, 1891. But it is a Russell. Yeah, he's got a big Russell steamer too. I'll have to get a video of that sometime. But you, you say, when is Rolog now? When is that coming up? Not this weekend, but next. It'll be both of them will be. Oh, there. okay. Yeah, I'll maybe try to make it down there, run down with the motorcycle. Uh, quite the place. Yeah, it's well, it's a long day though. Oh God, try spending four days. Here. Yeah. Well, and then it always seems to rain. Hey, that are hotter than hot one day. That's you know that time of year it'll be hot one day. You'll freeze the next, yeah. and it'll rain. You know this thing is running on wood. Uh, can you open a firebox up? Because <laughs> I think that's kind of cool that you can run around wood rather than coal. You know. Yeah, I think you should hook that baby up to that. To a generator. Well, you hire some kid to stoke around. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Can come out all day yeah, long. I could pipe the steam in for heat. You'd be selling power back to the, the rural electric. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. Well, that's what they always claim. Having wind charges yeah. is one of the selling features. Oh man, you can sell power back. <laughs> well, of course, you would be cutting a lot of firewood. That's yeah, amazing how quiet that thing is. I was telling you about them injectors. How they work, Jim? Yes. Well, why? It isn't sucking the water out of that bucket, is yeah, it? It'll take the water right out of the bucket with steam or with the pump. You gotta have two means of feeding them. Oh, okay. But you use steam, and the steam, when the steam hits the water, it'll cause a higher pressure in the boiler, it'll blow water into the into the boiler, plus it preheats it. It's a, it's a neat steam Well, yeah, well, they they really thought what they were doing yep. here. And see, watch how it'll take right off. There it took off. And it's yeah, I could see that. the water. Yeah, I saw the water was going down. Yep, it takes the water right out of there. It can cause a higher pressure than what the boiler is. Hmm. You got check valves to protect it from coming back. So what are your controls here for? Them are just for uh, checking your water levels. Here's your water level. I'm, re oh, okay. I'm really high right now. It's terrible. Poor operator. <laughs> but if it gets down, sometimes it'll get down so low you can't see it. And that's when you either got to pull your fire because you don't want to blow it up. Yeah. But you can check it manually. If you got water down here and steam up here, you oh, still... Oh, these are just... Oh, yeah, okay. They yeah. don't tell you if you got some water yet. How big a piston is on this thing then? Oh, you never had that apart, have you? No, but it is a... Oh, it says on here too. Uh, it's a six inch piston, I believe, on this one. Oh, right here we go. 
No, this is the engine number. I think it's a six on this one. <laughs> it's the smallest one they made. <laughs> I like that old governor, so. Slick, though. You can open yeah. them up wide open. Well, yeah, and they ain't gonna, you know, if they fail, you'll know it right away. Oh, yeah, okay, now, right. this has got an oiler like your Rumley, then. Yeah, steam oil goes in the cylinder. Okay. But uh, I busted over at uh, Bonanzaville. I busted a governor belt. She took off. Oh. She gets cranked. She'll go. Oh, yeah, she's. <laughs> I like all these little grease cups. Yeah. yeah, she's a machine. <laughs> That's like, it's just amazing how quiet they'll sit and run, you know. Well, back in 1891, I bet you this is the neatest thing on the farm. Oh, you know, man. Pumping water and cutting wood. You know, yeah. Can you imagine cutting firewood? Well, like say, even uh, pumping water for irrigating or something, you know? Wow. Well. Yeah, I bet. These are order how much they cost new. A traction engine was running 3500 I bet you this one here, probably 700 bucks or 800 It was under 1000 <laughs> It does a lot of money back then. Oh, you incredible. Section of land. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I bet you seven, eight hundred bucks bought this though. Yeah, but geez, it'd be something you'd be proud of. <laughs>